Hello and welcome back to more Moons of Madness. I'm Jason and we're back with part four here. So we just escaped that tentacle creature that chased us all over the greenhouse. And if you're wandering about on YouTube and you find this video without watching the first video, I have it down in the link, uh, the link down in the description down below. So if you want to go to the first one, it's down there. Let's slap our helmet back on. Say so we're tasked with contacting our crew now, and we have to go to the command module or a communication center or something. So let's go ahead and do that. I don't know why we have to step outside for it. Unless it's a local structure. If I can get to Declan at the satellite station, we can try to reestablish communications. I've got to warn them. All right, back to the Meyer Cat. I guess this will transition us to the next part of the game. I'm not exactly doing this one by chapters, like I did one and a half chapters last last game, or last episode. But I'm trying to keep these about 20 minutes long. Alright, yeah, close, close the door. You raising a barn? There we go. Alright, just sit down and click. That drives us to our destination. So what is going on? Inu is apparently doing experiments causing crazy mutations in local wildlife. I don't know what that creature was. It looked like some human that got transformed. Perhaps it was Inna herself. Alright. So our communications hub is miles away, just like our solar array. Who designed this stuff? All right, let me out. I want to get spooked again. All right, step out the back door. I will, of course, fill up with air. And away we go. Ooh, what the? Yeah, that's not ominous. What the fuck? Declan? There's something wrong. Why is it beckoning me in there? Where did everything go? I don't want to go in there. <laughs> Why would I go in there? <laughs> I got air in the car. Let's go take a peek around. We have a mining vehicle. Bunch of cargo units up here, but nothing stands out. So what the hell? I, I pulled up right here. Where's the road that I took to enter? Well, whatever. Here we are. Let's step down into the green abyss. I hope you guys can see this. Try to get my brightness settings accurate. Uh, oh, Cave of Madness. That doesn't bode well for Shane, I'll tell you that. Oh my god. Oh my Ooh. god. Why is it glowing? Yeah, what's this thing on my hand? I'm just now realizing there's something on my hand. The orb is reacting, the orb is reacting to my uh, hand. Well, let's go ahead and touch it. The orb is glowing. Yeah, focus that psychic energy. Why is this happening? And did that repel the oily tentacles? The greased up tentacles? Alright, so we can go not to the right. Oh, it doesn't like that. When I turn to look at it, it retreats. What happens if I don't look at it? Let's see how close it gets. Oh. You gonna get me? Nope. Okay. Yeah, you stay back there. Shit. What's going on? I don't know if I'm supposed to do that in a timed sense, but we took care of it. Yeah, what? 
What is happening? Why? My dude is losing his mind is all that's happening. Also, I took my helmet off. I don't have my gauge, my oxy oxygen gauge or anything like that. Okay. Three connections, all pointing to individual orbs. Well, let's take a look around. We got this tentacle coming in. It's burning under the skin. Fully powered. This tentacle needs to back up. This thing gonna sneak up on me while I'm doing this? Where am I? Sleep has no place to call its own. Let's go ahead and text this. Who shall conceive of the terrible wonders wrought by my secret labor? Will they who sleep reward me, punish me? Will they even notice? The children of Mars worship a being whose name roughly translates to the Immaculate Machine. These orbs are artifacts of that mystery cult. They are filled with, powered by, that celestial light, anima. The light drives back the dark, but also the liquid enlightenment of the dreamers, what the benighted have called Nurgle's Rot, the black worm jism, and the filth. I'll reclaim the term from the unenlightened. I'll call it the filth, because it stains the mind, pens the illuminated text that writhes in the wrinkly tome of the skull, the crawling muse. But it saturated my mind too much. A page dipped entirely in ink is as blank as a white page. Meaningless. Madness. The effort to write is, the text becomes illegible, but what if I could drive back the filth? Just a little. If I had a little more of my human thoughts back, I could do more with the thoughts beyond human. I could achieve such marvels that neither the human clay nor the liquid dreams of the sleepers could accomplish separately. The orbs are corrupted, but I can fix them. Yes, they who sleep will notice me. When I wave into the infinitude of the abyss, it will smile back. Uh, where's this illegible bit? Oh, that. The effort to something something. Alright. I'm sure that was in a... What? Why are you peeking over my shoulder? Don't worry about what I'm doing. Alright, so this is training me how to use all the orbs and whatnot. How far in do you come? Let's just go over here and hide. You come really far in here. Alright, get out. Wait, what am I doing here? Get, get back. Place orb. What orb? Hold on. I guess there's one back here somewhere. I assume that's going to block my way back. And I'm going to have to go all the way around some other way. It's following me. Never mind. At least looking at it puts it on retreat. Get out of here. What the hell is this place? Dude, you are going nuts. Ceiling is floating. Alright, what's this say? Uh, where am I? Sleep has no place to call its own. My name is blah blah blah. I'm still on this planet. Today I vomited in disgust at my failure, and what I vomited up tried to crawl away. Looked up pleadingly as I killed it. Easy, something. You are a scientist, aren't I? There are no failed experiments, only more data to coll collate. Yes, the orbs are corrupted from their original purpose by the sibilant frequencies of the filth. So I commanded the black worm, Jism, to leave the orbs, but the filth is stubborn. It will not give up the corpse of its enemy. It is a light source, I suppose, but do not require light. I have not used the bovine jelly of my sockets for some time. What a cow jelly? All right, let's let's put that down. There's some, that diagram there is a bunch of, looks like resistors and whatnot. Some sort of electrical diagram. Okay. Where am I? Sleep has no place to call its own. 
My name is... Why is it always illegible? I am still on this planet. Easy, I will write down my method. For writing reveals, I take the vermu... What? The vermiculated orb and charged it using the machine I fabricated from the Martian schematics. Supercharging the anima burns out the infected filth. It works, but only for a moment. The flare of the supercharged anima burns itself out momentarily, allowing the zero-point pathogen to take root again. What if I soaked it in the pools? My theory is sound. I will achieve it. Interesting. Whoever was here was trying some kind of experiment. The orbit decays, it says. And there's some more of the moon stuff. Okay. Yeah, he's... They're watching me. Oh, take orb. Yes. Uh, what? This one's working differently. The scar is not charging this enough. I, maybe I need What's more this? Energy. What's this black portal? Alright, let's go back. We'll charge it up. And then we probably come back with it charged, and we can open up the portal. Get out of my way. Oh. A little tentacles all over my eyes for a second. Yeah, yeah. Like, you're so slow, I'm not even, not even bothered by you. Put that in. Yeah. Grab me an orb. Oh, it really doesn't like that. Yeah, that's what I thought. Let's slap this bad boy in. We can progress further. Yeah. It worked. It's clearing the way. Okay. So the aliens are good. Filth is bad. Oh, well, it didn't work long. And I got tentacle roots on me. Get off of my eyeballs, please. What is this place? You're not, like, in my mind. I'll power this. Does that do me any good? Maybe I have to charge several of them. And I hope something isn't going to chase, chase me all through this place. Oh, we're missing an orb. Alrighty. Let's keep on going. Hey. Slam the door in my face. Exploring the cave of madness here. Alright, let's check this note. Where am I? Sleep has no place to call its own. Who am I? Do I exist? No one exists. We are just thoughts. More thoughts arrived. They look like space people. Spacesuits, they might wake up the dreamers. I think I will torture them. Hee hee hee. My mother frightened me with stories of witches and hags. Jenny, green teeth, pulling children into the pond to eat, but my mother never existed. I can be Jenny green teeth, Jenny filth teeth. I'll give the space people in such nightmares. I wonder if the glow of this pretty, pretty orb will attract them. I could be a glass tooth grinned below the light stalk of an angler fish. So this makes me think. This guy's talking about witches and hags where... The clan, uh, the clan was talking about witches. He was drawing pictures this of it. Is insane. Who are you? But then the other thing is like, my mother doesn't exist. Maybe referring to me and my mother who disappeared when I was a child. Yeah. Okay. We don't need gravity here. What are you stupid? Now let's take the orb. We'll put it into its position over here, and hopefully it'll function. Awesome. I can't take it out again, just in case you're wondering. Although, there's another empty orb slot right here.
Okay. Probably shouldn't touch that. Yeah, this isn't bizarre at all. Just walking through some mystery madness cave. Where the laws of physics don't apply. Playing with alien artifacts. Get. I need this orb. Bloop. What? Let me through. So he's, yeah, he's peeking. He keeps peeking at me. These tentacles are pretty slow, so I'm not even worried about it. Even if you do, if they do get close, they kind of give you that weird tentacle vision. Hi, hello. Don't twist at me. Uh, I focused on him. <laughs> I don't know if that helped, but... Let's let my sanity kind of get back to normal here. There we go. Charge this one up. You know what these puzzles remind me of? Is the Final Fantasy X, like, those puzzle temples. Where you went to go get summons. And you had to move all the orbs around. And there's always that one special room where if you did the extra special puzzle trick, you would get an item or something. I'm sure anyone who's played Final Fantasy X knows what I'm talking about. Ah, uh, the, uh, the mold is growing. Okay, it's, it's not growing, it's pulsating. Still bad. Still bad that it's pulsating, but... What is this place? Look at this dapper chap. He's really happy. Can't even tell what that is. All right, slap this in. Can I not put this here? Guy is a little bit panicky right now. Yeah, I get pretty close to the tentacles for that. All right, let's activate this one. That's right. Part ways, let me through. More of those moon nonsense. What am I over here for? Can't interact with that. Oh, this okay. <laughs> Couldn't I didn't see that up there for a moment. And I just saw me sticking my hand out. Normal. Absolutely normal. This is familiar. We got another orb here. Just immediately using it. Wait a minute. Oh, we got one in this little door here. That's peculiar. I don't know what this one's about. Let's go ahead and take this. Ah, uh, never mind, I see. Is there another one in here? see the third one. <laughs> there it is. The orb has been infused with energy. Now something's going to chase me, right? Well, I hear 
or something. Let's get out of here. I don't like whatever that is. Is he gonna teleport at me now? Just like the beast? Tenta beast? His gravity's low. Dude, where am I? What what is this? Why do things like just ramp up to ten in this game? Minding my own business on Mars. Now I'm in the caves of madness. Charging alien artifacts. With the with the the hand tattoo scar I have. Let me guess, I got this tattoo when I was six. Alright, it won't let me run. Come on. Hello, little dream. Um, hi. All the other little dreams are called. They imagine themselves as to lost. A filthy form into their shades. Just like the old. Just like you and Scum. They made such noise they tried to break the bones. The most variable part to see you. Ah, uh, no thanks. Do not want. Take your Lovecraftian ritual elsewhere. And now I'm one of them. At least I have tentacles now. 